Should I do like a snazzy walk-in? So it is currently Saturday, August 10th, and right now I'm going to be doing the little like school supply haul. Okay, so pretty much the other day, if you saw my vlog, I went to Staples and I got some school supplies. So I thought I'd do a haul because school supply shopping is my favorite thing about back to school. There is like a hornet in my, okay. Let's get on with this. Bag numero uno. We have, oh, we have two packs of whiteout, two blues, one purple, and one green. This is my favorite type of whiteout because it has these little twist caps on it. And you know what? I've tried every other type of whiteout. I don't really like liquid whiteout. I like these because they don't get caught on anything and they're really easy and compact to just kind of shove into your pencil case. These are the way to go. I also got two packs of pencils. These are my favorite pencils ever. These are Paper Mate mechanical pencils. They're the Clear Point Elite ones. I don't really know what that means. These pencils, they're just so good. The erasers are amazing. The point, like the tip, like the lead of the T the tip of the lead is so like fine you can get such precision when you're writing it is amazing they're expensive but i would definitely say they're worth it because of the longevity just yes third i have some highlighters i don't really have a specific reason why i got these but these are really dope 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 because where like the highlighting portion is, it's clear, I don't know. It looks cool, there's not really anything like special about the way that they perform, but. And then I just have my notebooks. So my school doesn't really give, sorry, I'm staring at the Hornet. My school doesn't really give, sorry, Hornet again. It's just scaring me. I hate getting bit by, I just hate needles in general. So the thought of getting bit by like a bee or a Hornet is like, not ideal. So my school doesn't really give school supply lists. They just kind of go off of you shop for like what you need. This is a graphic notebook. I'm like 99% sure we're going to use this. So um, I got one anyway. And it has a really nice thick spiral on it, which I love. And it's, it looks like it's going to be really durable. And I also like the paper. And it has a folder in here, which I also appreciate. So these are literally the same exact notebooks that I got last year, but I just have these two notebooks. They're by Studio C and they literally just look like this. I really like these notebooks because they have this little like pocket folder in the front and they also have one in the back, but the paper is good quality. I don't know if that makes sense, but there are like different qualities of paper and my favorite is like college rule and this is so smooth. I can already like, I know from last year, but I can already tell by like looking at it that this is going to be a really beautiful paper to write on. It's a weird thing to comment on, but you know, it's the little things. Same thing with this notebook. It has the same type of paper, same folder scenario, just a different color. We're already on our second bag. So this is my little Amazon pack. Amazon pack. Amazon pack. Ouch. Okay. Okay. So let me explain. These are my ride or die pens. I just figured out about them about a year ago, but they're by far my favorite pens. And I think they will always be my favorite pens. So these are Muji 0.7 millimeter ballpoint pen in black. And these are the smoothest pens I think I've ever written with. They are so, so good. And they also last so long. Like I... Mm. <laughs> what I was saying. I look scary right now. But just for some context, if you were wondering what was happening right there, my cousin was pretty much asking my sister about my dog, whose name is Percy, but for some reason we call him Bean, if you should let him out or not. Did you follow that? I don't know. If you didn't, sorry. If you did, great. On with the video. I got a 10 pack of these pens off of Amazon. If you want to get them as well, I will link them down below. I wouldn't say they're crazy expensive. They are a little bit on the pricier side for pens, definitely, but I would definitely say they are worth the price. I think I got a 10 pack for like $12, which isn't outrageous, but for the value that you're getting out of the pen, it's not that bad. Insert writing demo right here. A 
also don't mind my handwriting. Yeah, my friend from the gym introduced me to these pens and now I'm a pen snob. And I only use these pens. So, on to this. As you can see, a lot of my school supplies is very boring. I decided to go with the color black. This is just, you know, a standard three subject notebook. It is a little bit bougier because it does have this little like cover on the sleeve, I guess you could call it. This prevents the spiral from catching and pulling and like pretty much having your notebook fall apart because that happens to me frequently. This isn't really necessary, but it comes with it too. It looks like a planner back here and all these little colorful stickies. And then we have folders for each subject, which is a must for me because staying organized is key, even though that doesn't really hold strong towards the end of the year, but you know what, it's okay. So this notebook is going to be for chemistry, theology, In French. Okay, I just had the biggest brain fart ever. I'm going to be using a separate one inch binder for my history notes. History isn't my favorite subject, so it takes some extra attention. This is the loose leaf paper that I got. I got 300 sheets because I go through a lot of it throughout the school year. This is by far my favorite loose leaf paper. It is college rule and it has little reinforced like stickies on the side of where the binder clips would go so they don't rip out as easily. So this is definitely a win for me. So anyway, that is pretty much it for my back to school supply haul. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button down below. And hit the little notification bell right next to it to get notified every time I post a new video. By doing this, you'll become a member of the hashtag notification squad and one of my insert fandom name. I don't really know what's Okay, wait, I'm gonna try my Yeah. I don't really know what to call you guys. Comment some ideas down below. I don't know, maybe I'll just call you guys. I really don't know. More videos are coming in the future for you guys. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. I'll be sure to see you in the next one. And that's that. Bye, guys.